Still sit back more, Megan. Now you're on the wrong knee, Miss Megan. recovery for you. So walk. So I want you to physically, forcefully hold her head more and make her stay slower. Now ask. Go ahead and lope. Hold. Don't let her go fast. She can pick it up without racing. Good. Lope. Hold. Yeah, that's better though. That's better. Much better. So I feel that you aren't playing catch up with her the whole time. Yes, I hope that. That was much better. Good, good. Good, okay, you can walk. Good, hold, don't let her get faster than you want. There you go. Good, okay. Megan, walk. Take your time, she doesn't have an automatic hunch turn. Yeah, relax then. But remember the couple things. You can't just keep trying it again when you horse show. You have to make what, however you did it work. That's the advantage and disadvantage to a lesson. Because which side of the cone are you supposed to be on right now? Ah, so that I would fix. Because otherwise it's technically an off pattern and disqualification. Did you hear me, Megan? Yes, disqualification. Correct. So they cannot and should not pin you when you go off pattern. Doesn't matter how fidgety your horse was. I don't know. Come on back. You're going to do it again, though. Okay. Keep her straight here. Yeah. 
still wants to be wiggly. She's going to straight. Um, and how to work this train. Obviously, she's not so much. So you just take it one step at a time. And try to keep her as close to the cone as you can. Big thing, hold her straight. Don't let her squirrel. Because notice she keeps getting away from the cone as you're halting. So that's a big part of it. Because then that sets you up for the next step. Not as easily. Easy. 